Hey guys, GameBoy3800 here once again, and I have my mini ATX system here. This is the one with the i7-930 in it, and the 960. And I wanted to test something out. Um, since this has basically the exact same hardware as um, the other one I built up with the, 40, with the i7-4820K, other than the processor, like, they both have 8 gigs of RAM at the same speed. They both have a GTX 960. And they both are overclocked. This one I just got done overclocking to 4.3 gigahertz for this test. So that it will be as fair as possible. I tried 4.5, but then I tried to put this flash drive in and it blue screen. So, obviously, it was not stable. So, I turned it down. And we're at 4.3 gigahertz at 1.1 volts. So, that's really good. And we are just going to try a benchmark in both the Heaven and the Valley. And see what we come up with. Everything's on Ultra. And we are going to run the benchmark. They will both be at the same resolution as well. And now we're going to benchmark. And the average score is 42.6. And then the score is 1,074. I shall save this setting. Um, how am I going to save it? Okay. Just save it at the desktop. Pushing out some hot air. And it was running at a high speed. You, pr you probably missed it, but it was running at 4.13 gigahertz there. Showing that it was running fairly high. Alright, exact same settings. Let's run it. This is taking a long time to load. Is that it just there? That little thing there? Is the valley just that intense? Oh, there we go. Benchmarking now. Alright, average for this one was 45.2 and the score is 1892. Save that once again because why not? Alright, on to the next system. See you there. Alright, system number two is up and running. And we can see, maybe... Whatever, trust me, you can see the multiplier there, the 8 will go up to 4.3 gigahertz. So, let's see what we can do. 
Poly, Ultra, Calculation, Extreme, Anti-Aliasing, 8x, Full Screen, Resol and the resolution was 16 by 9, Vertex 11, I think that's it. This is heaven, so it's the long one. But there's a sound. Cool. To speed this up, I will skip to the part when I get to the scores, because you've already seen this. So, see you in a second. Alright, this is the result. The score is significantly better. Well, not too significantly, but noticeably better. It went up by 100 points. Just about. So, 1141. And I shall put this next to this one. Now we're going to see what the Valley benchmark is like. Quality Ultra, anti aliasing 8x, and then the resolution 1600 by 900. I think 1600 by 900 because that's what the other res resolution was, so I'm keeping it fair. Alright. Let's see if this loads any faster because I know, I know the other one loaded pretty slowly. That's probably because the hard drive controller on the other board was only set at 2. And yeah, it did load a lot faster. Starting the benchmark. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. But first, that graphic speed, 1481. That's the gigabyte card in there. All right, see you when it's done. All right, here are the scores once again. The score for this one is 2016, so that's over 200 points better than the one with the i7-930, even though they're both clocked at the same speed. They're both at 4.3 gigahertz. Actually, the 931 was clocked at 4.3 3 gigahertz. So it had a little bit extra to give. So there's the difference between those two. Actually, you know what? Since I'm right here, let's test Project Bolad as well to see what difference a 6 core processor of the same speed can do with dropping the phone and this 4820k because the only difference here would be the generation of, of processor and the memory because they both have a gtx 960 and they would both be clocked at 4.3 gigahertz so let's see what happens i'll see you once i've got this unhooked and this is i'll boot it up all right project bolide is up and running to g give it a fair shot sands up to max speed and, nope, that's Valley. We don't want Valley, at least not yet. We want Heaven. And everything will be set exactly the same. Quality is Ultra, Tessellation Extreme, times 8, and 1600 by 900. I want to know, do I already have this in here? Yep, I already have them actually, so I did not need to reinstall them at all. But whatever.
Alright, once again the i7 is overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz as a baseline. Hit benchmark once again. And I shall see you when it's all done. Alright, some surprising results. The 5820K, overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz like everything else has just barely come above the i7-930 which is extremely odd you'd think the latest Hasbro E generation x99 platform would be the best six cores look it says right there times six six cores but no either the graphics card and this is, doesn't have as high as a base clock like this one was almost at 1500 I think or maybe the CPU is unstable I need to add more voltage to it or something but my god maybe it will do better in Valley So let's add those numbers to the results. That wasn't any better at all, I don't think. Look, they're almost identical, actually. Wow. Alright, I guess it's time for Valley. Just to be sure I'm not screwing myself over. Yep. It was at 1600 by 900. Everything was the same. No. The GPU clock is just about the same. Where was the other one at? 1488? This one's at 1481. That 7 megahertz would make no difference. So I do not know what happened. I'll get to you at the end of this. Alright, the results are in, and it did better than the i7-930, but still worse than the 4820K. Did I just get the king of all 4820Ks and, like, the best combo of memory in this? This has slower memory. This has DDR4 memory at 2800 megahertz. This is at 1333, DDR3. How? More importantly, why? thinking of keeping this one, selling this one. <laughs> Honestly, why does this happen? Cancel, I don't want to save. Yeah. I mean, for the 930 and um, 5820K, yeah, it fits kind of nicely, well, not kind of nicely, it's pretty damn close to the 4820K, so let's call that one a fluke, but explain this, that's nearly a 100 point difference. I know in real world applications such as, I'm running Cinebench, the i7 5820k would crush them because eight cores and more memory yeah this one had the benefit of more memory it says 12 gigs should have 16 but it has 12 gigs this one had eight and the other one had eight so i honestly have no idea you could say oh well, this is a quad core therefore each cpu core gets two gigs of memory which one is this six core 12 gigabytes memory. So each core will get 2 gigabytes of memory. Oh, no, that's not even how it works. But still, this is one hell of a machine here. Whoever's gonna buy it is very lucky and awesome. This is one of my more proud units I built up because I put a lot of effort into it. I put a lot of money into this, I wouldn't say very much effort. The cable management is, com is a complete disaster on the other side of the case. 
as in it's not managed at all. This one, I've actually tried hard to make it look nice inside so that the person who gets it would love it forever. And then the one in the Raid Max case, the i7-930 one, that still needs some work to be done, but it's usable. As you can see, the 930 holds up to a 5820K if you overclock it. So, Lord have mercy, it's a baby. I don't, I have no idea. Either way, 5820K, I guess, is a disappointment. Or maybe it's the motherboard. This is a ROG board, Republic of Gamers. This is a X99 EWS, so it's a workstation board, maybe not meant for gaming. Although motherboards don't usually have much to do with it. All in all, I have no idea. It's odd, but this one's the victor. So yeah, see you next time, awkward ending.